Pink number 18 is with us. And Ty Wolfenden will be out. He's looking for points. So is Leon Madsen. This is a tough one. And uh, you've got to say, Robert Lambert hasn't had the evening he's wanted. He's uh, pretty much out of it. And uh, Ty Wolfenden will go from the inside in the red helmet colour. Alongside him is Robert Lambert in blue in gate two. Gate number three in white is Leon Madsen off the outside. The man leading the way on 11 points is Jason Doyle in the yellow helmet colour. Wolfenden needs another big result now to make sure of a semi-final berth. So does Leon Madsen. Robert Lambert could be a spoiler, of course. He has the quality, he has the class, but it hasn't been his night. But for Leon Madsen and Ty Wolfenden, they've given themselves lifelines. They've got to keep pushing on. Yeah, they need points, and Jason Doyle is going to want to keep that winning feeling from the outside. He won't want to go into the semis having dropped too many more points. Absolutely right. Here we go, then. There we go. He 18, he goes charging towards the first corner. Robert Lambert, a little bit like Mickelson, has just made a dynamite start. He hits the front. wolfenden has gone to the back. Here comes Doyle now. Charging around the outside. It's slippery out there. Bit of water. Lambert now out in front. Doyle's chasing hard. Leon Madsen into third place. Wolfenden, oh, this is desperate times for Wolfenden. Needs points. Can't afford to finish there. But Robert Lambert, how can you explain Speedway sometimes? How can you predict Speedway when he's had an awful night and he's going to finish with a stunning win here if he can keep it going. Yeah, another frustrated rider, Jason Doyle there, a little mistake from him, just uh, allows Leon Madsen to uh, get, just make up the ground a little bit, but this is not going to be enough for him. Robert Lambert will finish very frustrated. Jason Doyle beaten again, but uh, oh, here comes Leon Madsen. It's going to be Tommy going into turn three. Here we uh, go, Jason then. Doyle just stopping him there. Robert Lambert finishing with a, finishing with a flourish there. Not enough, but uh, like Mickelson, a consolation prize for him. Doyle back in second place, finishes on 13 points. Bitterly disappointing moments for Leon Madsen and Ty Woofenden might not be enough for him. Three points for Robert Lambert out in front, Jason Doyle two points in second, Leon Madsen grabs third place, and Ty Woofenden missing out there. How costly was that mistake earlier on? Really has hampered his progress. And Ty Wolfenden on seven with a heat victory in sixth right now, but he's extraordinarily vulnerable. There you can see it. Doyle on 13, having a great night. Bewley on nine. But uh, we're going to have to see exactly how this works out. But riders on seven are vulnerable. Uh, they are, and they seem to be under pressure on seven. Nobody can seem to grab a point that they need in his last few races. Jason Doyle with big circles there on the first lap. Looks like he's going to be able to round up Robert Lambert, but Robert, great throttle control. He's a great motorcyclist, and he manages to get the power down on the ground on the inside and uh, finishes himself with a race win, but he will be a frustrated man leaving the Narrabovi Stadium as he fails to make the semi-finals. But uh, Jason Doyle, another solid ride for him. He had to run across the front of Leon Madsen on the last corner there, but uh, never afraid to make that kind of move, Jason. Yeah, well, Ty Wofford and Leon Madsen both finished on seven points. They both had a heat victory, but they're vulnerable in the last two qualifying heats for riders that are on seven points already.